that's not your water coming to a boil. It's our nightly checkup on the Something for Nothing crowd. It's tea time. And I'd like to remind you again, there is no racism in the Tea Party. It is a figment of my imagination and yours. And stick your fingers in your ears and go, na 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 I read you this yesterday from the blog of the chairman of the Tea Party Express about a proposed mosque two blocks from Ground Zero. He wrote, the monument would consist of a mosque for the worship of the terrorist monkey god. Repeat, the terrorist monkey god. If you feel that fits a description of Allah, then that is your own deep-seated emotional baggage, not mine. Talk to the terrorists who use Allah as their excuse and the Muslims who apologize for and rationalize them and a cultural center to propagandize for the extermination of all things not approved by their cult, end quote. That leader fired Albany, New York radio host Mark Williams has now hidden that post behind a password. He's also had to correct the hate speech because he got one of the hate details wrong. I described the God worshipped by terrorists as a monkey God. I was wrong and that was offensive. I owe an apology to millions of Hindus who worship Lord Hanuman, an, exact, an actual monkey God. Don't worry, any apology is purely a gimmick. The TPM muckraker psych found this previous Tea Party Express German blog post. Islam is a 7th century death cult coughed up by a psychotic pedophile and embraced by defective, tail-sprouting, tree-swinging, semi-human, bipedal primates with no claim to be treated like human beings or even desirable mammals for that matter. The response to this from the Tea Party Express that Williams chairs, nothing to do with us, his personal blog, yeah, but you have a lot to do with his person. And, of course, this has nothing to do with the Tea Party buffoon running for the House in Florida who stuffed every racial stereotype and paranoid hate message against Muslims and Middle Easterners as he could get into his 30 seconds. And neither the Tea Party Express nor the Tea Party candidate has anything to do, even just philosophically, with the middle-aged white terrorist caught on surveillance video carrying a can of gasoline and a pipe bomb into the Islamic Center in Jacksonville, Florida, and detonating it without much result nine days ago. They're just isolated incidents.